Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. This video is about a 5.7 liter Mercruiser V8 engine, and um, I'm doing a teardown on it. And I uh, just want to show you what I found so far. So this is the uh, port side of the engine, I believe. And um, so if you look at these pistons, the Totsies pistons, that's a sign of a blown head gasket. Water was getting into this engine, or into this cylinder. And that the cleanness up there is because the uh, water, the, the amount of water it gets in here burns or gets very hot with the uh, explosion and the gases and uh, or the combustion and it uh, acts as steam and it steam cleans the top of your pistons. So you got steam cleaning there, you got some steam cleaning going on there. So these, this is cylinders number three and number five. So if you look at the clean, so there was no, it looks to me like the, there was no head gasket breach here. There was no head gasket breach here. This is seven and that's one. But between three and five, you had a head gasket breach. So this is all deteriorated. You can see from the coloration that it looks like gases were, combustion gases were, uh, if not moving from one cylinder to another, it's at least moving the, uh, into the coolant. So this is a coolant power port here. And you see the rust leads you to believe that water was getting from the cylinder over into here and vice versa. Also, if you look at the cylinder walls, you got rust, some rust stains going on there and there, but not on these cylinders. These cylinders don't have as much rust. I have to say that, there's a little bit there. Um, actually, look at this piston, it must have had some water intrusion too, because it was getting clean too. You can see how the water is trying to clean it off also. That's the top of seven. Might have been a little getting in there too, but the bottom line is this engine had a head get, blown head gasket on this side, and I also believe it had a blown head gasket on the other side. Let me check this side. So this is cylinder number six. There's a little bit of cleaning that's going on up there in that corner there, and not uh, a little bit on eight at the top there. And that's number four. And then there's number two. So two and four look kind of normal. I don't really see any, I'll see a little, it looks like some blown head gasket right through here because it's not the same color. So yeah, I believe it was might've, might've been a blown head gasket between here, but this side was minor compared to the other side. So that's a, there you go, that's the diagnosis of a blown head gasket on a Mercruiser 5.7 V8 with Vortec heads. So I'm gonna take the uh, heads to the machine shop tomorrow. There's the heads right there, they're Vortex, and I'm gonna, have them to, I'm gonna tell them which cylinders had blown head gaskets and ask them to check for cracks on those particular cylinders. All right, I'm gonna continue with the tear down of this motor and uh, I'm gonna get the oil paint off and uh, so one of the tricks you do if you want to eliminate, so I've already got some oil down here that I've just drained the oil. If you want to eliminate a mess, the engine's been sitting for a long time up, right side up with the oil pan down. So all the oil is collected down in there. So if I were to flip this engine over, and uh, or what little what oil is left in the engine that didn't come out into this pot or this uh, drain pan down here. So when I flip this engine over, to, if, if, I, if I were to flip the engine over to take the oil pan off, any residual oil that was in that pan is gonna flip back upside and get in the engine and then it will come out the top side of the engine all over your floor. So what I do is I take the oil pan, leave the engine right side up and take the oil pan off the bottom and that way you catch all the oil and, no, and the oil doesn't go everywhere in your engine. It keeps, the, keeps your workshop a little cleaner. So that's a little tip. Um, and that's the end of this video and thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.